A burning desert wind sweeps across the Indian subcontinent. Beneath centuries of dust and silence, an ancient burial site whispers secrets that were never meant to be found. In a remote corner of northern India, archaeologists uncover human remains unlike anything recorded before. The bones are old, very old, but the DNA they carry tells a story far stranger than anyone imagined. Half a world away, across the rugged steppes of Mongolia, a similar genetic fingerprint is found, embedded deep in the remains of a nomadic warrior, frozen in time. These two sites are separated by thousands of kilometers, and yet they share something disturbingly precise. The same mutations, the same lineage, as if a forgotten migration had stitched two ancient worlds together. Who were these people? How did Mongolian genes end up buried beneath Indian soil? And what does this mean for everything we thought we knew about the origins of Indian civilization? What ancient force connected these distant lands? What secrets lie buried in the silent code of our ancestors? In 2019, a groundbreaking excavation began at the Harappan site of Rakhigarhi, India. Once a thriving city of the mysterious Indus Valley civilization, dating back over 4,500 years. This wasn't just another archaeological dig. The site was massive, covering more than 350 hectares, making it one of the largest in the ancient world. The people who lived here built complex drainage systems, granaries, and multi-storied homes, yet left behind no decipherable script, no obvious rulers no known wars. Meanwhile, thousands of kilometers to the north, in the windswept Orkhon Valley of Mongolia, burial mounds held the remains of Xiongnu warriors, ferocious horsemen who predated Genghis Khan by over a millennium. Their culture was different, their lifestyle nomadic, but the dates overlapped suspiciously with the later phases of the Indus Valley's decline. For decades, these civilizations were studied in isolation. Separate timelines, separate worlds. But the DNA told another story. One of contact, migration, and perhaps assimilation. Why would people from the harsh Mongolian steppes travel to the fertile plains of India? And what vanished road once connected these two ancient giants? It began with a single tooth. During the final phase of excavation at Rakigari, a remarkably well-preserved female skeleton was unearthed. Buried alone, her arms crossed, her face turned east. But what caught the scientists' attention wasn't the posture. It was the state of her teeth. Enamel still intact. Enough to extract something incredibly rare. Ancient DNA. The process was delicate. The team worked in sterilized labs, layer by layer, coaxing millennia-old genetic material from the molars. At first, expectations were low. India's humid climate usually destroys organic traces. But then, something extraordinary happened. The sequencing began to reveal not just local ancestry, but a set of markers that didn't belong. Among the genes of this ancient Harappan woman, were mitochondrial haplogroups, tiny genetic tags, commonly found in ancient populations of Central Asia. Even more specifically, Mongolia. The match was too clean, too precise to dismiss as contamination or coincidence. Where had this woman's ancestors come from? Had they walked across mountains and deserts? Or had something else brought them here? Alarm bells rang through the academic world. Leading geneticists from India, Germany, and South Korea formed a coalition to double-check the results. They cross-referenced the Harappan DNA with thousands of ancient genomes from across Eurasia. Using next-generation sequencing and radiocarbon dating, they mapped out timelines, migration patterns, and genetic drift. What they found shattered expectations. The woman from Rakigari belonged to a lineage that had diverged over 5,000 years ago. 
yet showed undeniable links to the eastern steppe. Even more stunning, several of the mutations found in her genome were nearly identical to those from remains discovered in the Uyghur Autonomous Region and the Mongolian Altai. These weren't recent admixtures. This was deep ancestry, embedded like a ghost trail in her blood. But how could such distant populations have mixed? Trade routes? Conquests? Lost tribes? And then, researchers noticed something odd. The same genetic signature began appearing, faintly, but consistently, in modern populations across North India. Not just a trace, a legacy. What force had moved these ancient genes across such vast terrain? In a climate-controlled lab in Leipzig, Germany, a final test was performed. The extracted DNA from the Harappan woman was run through a comparative analysis known as Principal Component Analysis, PCA. This method visualizes genetic similarity by clustering populations based on shared ancestry. When the results came in, the map lit up in a way no one expected. The Rakagari genome didn't just sit close to Central Asian populations. It bridged them. It acted as a genetic midpoint, linking ancient Iranian farmers, Mongolian steppe nomads, and South Asian communities into a single migratory arc. Even more stunning, the DNA bore clear markers of the D4 mitochondrial haplogroup, a signature most commonly found in East and Central Asia. A subsequent study using isotope analysis revealed something even stranger. The woman had not been born in Rakigari. Her bones carried strontium levels matching soil samples from regions over 2,000 kilometers to the north, somewhere near modern-day Mongolia. This wasn't just a stray traveler. She was the descendant of a forgotten migration, an entire lineage that had walked generation after generation from the steppes into the heart of India. Picture a vast ancient landscape. The winds howl across the Central Asian steppes, herding waves of grass like ocean swells. Somewhere around 2500 BCE, long before the rise of empires, a nomadic tribe begins to move, slowly, deliberately, heading south. They travel with horses, carts, and families, not as conquerors, but as seekers, chasing warmer lands, following rivers, carrying stories etched in blood and bone. As they pass through the mountain corridors of the Hindu Kush, they descend into the fertile plains of the Indus. There, they encounter the thriving cities of the Harappan world, majestic, organized, and strangely silent. Trade begins, then intermarriage. Over decades, perhaps centuries, the genetic imprint of the steppes merges with the genome of the valley. These migrants don't destroy the Harappan civilization. They become part of it. Their descendants live, work, and are buried in its cities. Like the woman in Rakigari, their legacy becomes one with the soil. But time erases all. Floods, droughts, and collapse bury the story. Until now. For millennia, their journey was forgotten. But the DNA never forgets. The ancient link between India and Mongolia was never written in stone, never carved into temples, or preserved in scrolls. It was hidden in the cells of a forgotten woman, buried in silence, waiting to be heard. Now, thousands of years later, science has resurrected her voice. A whisper from the deep past that rewrites our understanding of civilization, connection, and identity. This isn't just a story about DNA. It's a revelation that ancient migrations shaped the very foundation of modern societies. That bloodlines crossed mountains and deserts long before borders and nations. And that buried beneath the cities we know are forgotten histories we've yet to understand. So what else lies beneath? What other civilizations are silently waiting to be rediscovered through the codes of life itself? Hit the like button if this story left you stunned. Subscribe for more real-life discoveries that challenge everything we thought we knew.
And don't forget to dive into our next episode, because history is far more connected and far more mysterious than we ever imagined.